well known scripture that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So we enter into a station of the cross that is composed of the word of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in his majesty, was the only one who was able to endure the cross for our redemption. And in so doing, he showed us a love that was beyond human imagining. And now he gives us the privilege, being redeemed, to walk the way of the cross with him, to share in the fellowship of his sufferings, and to bring forward his redemption into a fallen world. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. And straightway, in the morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council, and bound Jesus, and carried him away, and delivered him to Pilate. And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth, and sat down in the judgment seat, in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. Then delivered he him unto them to be crucified. And they took Jesus and led him away. God spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, Almighty God, that we, 
who for our evil deeds do worthily deserve to be punished, by the comfort of thy grace, may mercifully be relieved. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Through what Christ, dear Mother, gave thee, here's thy anguish so amazing. Born of woman, would not we? The second station. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. And he, bearing his cross, went forth to a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. The Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. For the transgression of his people was he stricken. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory, before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Through one Christ, dear Father, such a cup of sorrow drinking would not share her sorrow's tea. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Christ Jesus, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Let us pray. O God, who knowest us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For his people sins chastised, she beheld her son despised, scourged and crowned with fourth 
conversation, Jesus meets his mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. What shall I testify unto thee? What shall I liken to thee, O daughter of Jerusalem? What shall I compare to thee, that I may comfort thee, O virgin daughter of Zion? For thy ruin is deep as the sea. Who can heal thee? Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. A sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, for thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought unto the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Saw him then from judgment taken, and in death by all forsaken, till his spirit be resigned. The fifth station, the cross is laid upon Simon of Simon. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, coming out of the country, and on him they laid the cross, that he might bear it after Jesus. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. Whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me, cannot be my disciple. Let us pray. O God, whose blessed Son did overcome death for our salvation, mercifully grant that we who have his glorious passion and remembrance may take up our cross daily and follow him. Through the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. Jesus made her deep devotion, serving me the same devotion. Fount of love, redeemer kind. The sixth station. A woman wipes the face of Jesus. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. He hath no form or comeliness, and when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, 
and we esteemed him not. His visage was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. Show us the light of thy countenance, and we shall be whole. Let us pray. O God, who before the passion of thy only begotten Son didst reveal his glory upon the holy mount, grant unto us thy servants that in faith beholding the light of his countenance, we may be strengthened to bear the cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That my heart left ardor gaining and a pure love attaining may with the acceptance find. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, Yet he opened not his mouth. For the transgression of his people was he stricken. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, a very scorn of men, and the outcast of my people. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy tender love towards mankind has sent thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, that all mankind should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through the same, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. True repentance, Jesus, win me. Save your print, thy wounds within me. Grant them on thy stubborn form. As thou comest through tribulation, in thy passion, my salvation, let me bear therein my part. The eighth station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. And there followed him a great company of people, and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children.
they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all those who are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me mourn, O Lord, beside thee, for the sins which crucified thee. While my life remains in thee. The ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. O my people, what have I done unto thee, or wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me, because I brought thee forth from the land of Egypt. Thou hast prepared a cross for thy Savior. Because I led thee through the desert forty years, and fed thee with manna, and brought thee into a land exceeding good, thou hast prepared a cross for thy Savior. What more could I have done unto thee that I have not done? He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. Let us pray. Keep, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy church with thy perpetual mercy, and because the frailty of man without thee cannot but fall, keep us ever by thy help from all things hurtful, and lead us to all things profitable for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Take me the cross my station, and in all thy desolation. So unite myself with thee. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. And when they were come unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say, place of a skull, they gave him vinegar to drink mingled with gall. And when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. They gave me gall to eat, and when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. O Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, gave his back to the smiters and hid not his face from shame, grant us grace to take joyfully the sufferings of the present time in full assurance of the glory that shall be revealed. Through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Jesus, great beyond all other, turn not from me, heavenly brother. Let me to be well thy fame. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him. And with him they crucified two thieves, the one on his right hand and the other on his left. And the scripture was fulfilled with Seth, and he was numbered with the transgressors. O my people, what have I done unto thee? I did raise thee on high with great power, and thou hast hanged me upon the gibbet of the cross. I, if I be lifted up, will draw all men unto me. Let us pray. O God, who by the passion of thy blessed Son hath made the instrument of shameful death to be unto us the means of life and peace, grants us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss. For the sake of this saint, thy Son, our Lord. Amen. Let my soul thy death declare thy unsparing passion share Count thy bruises one by one. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by, whom he loved. He said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then said he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And when he had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. All kneel, then may be said, the Our Father and the Hail Mary silently, after which all arise. Christ, for our sake, became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Let us pray. O God, who for our redemption 
that's given thy only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection hath delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily from sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection. Through the same thy Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Let thy stripes and scourging smite me, at thy holy cross we fight thee. Let thy blood refresh me dead. The thirteenth station. The body of Jesus is placed in the arms of his mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. All ye that pass by, behold, and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow. My eyes do fail with tears, my soul is troubled. My heart is poured out in grief because of the downfall of my people. Call me not Naomi, which is pleasant. Call me Mara, which is bitter. For the Almighty hath dealt very bitterly with me. Her tears are on her cheeks. She hath none to comfort her. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Oh, how sad and sore distressed now was she that mother blessed of the soul begotten one. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. When even was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea, named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulchre and departed. Thou shalt not leave my soul in hell, neither shalt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that as we are baptized into the death of thy blessed Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, so by continual mortifying of our corrupt affection we may be buried with him, and that through the grave and gate of death we may pass to our joyful resurrection. For his merits, who died and was buried and rose again for us, the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Deep the glow of her affliction, when she saw the fruits of
O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hath redeemed us, save us and help us. We humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Let us pray. Almighty Father, who has given thy holy Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification, grant that so to put away the leaven of God's wickedness, that we may always serve thee in purity of living and truth, through the merits of his Savior, thy Son, Jesus Christ, 